Hi everyone, before we get started with today's episode, I wanted to ask you if you'd be interested in episodes where we create fan art of our favorite games. Uh, I've been creating some No Man's Sky fan art and it's turning out quite well. And I, I was in interested whether or not you would like to see episodes where we create art like this. And um, just kind of chill, create some game fan art. If so, please leave a comment uh, below and let me know. Uh, so let's get started with today's episode of No Man's Sky Chimera. In Chimera, we modify the No Man's Sky engine and see what procedural greatness we can achieve. There's a few planets in today's episode. I'm only going to talk for, I don't know, maybe five or six minutes. Uh, and then I'm going to click off and let you guys enjoy the sights and sounds of the game. So, I have been thinking a lot about the updates that we're going to be getting, supposedly three this year. And um, let me know what you guys think. I'd like to know what you want from the game. I've seen everything. I mean, you see, you see everything from, you know, the communities wanting, the PvP communities wants focus on PvP. Uh, the you know base builders are just wanting you know uh, they are wanting more components they're wanting you know more more to do with base building uh, explorers want planetary you know focus you know give us give us better environments better planet generation uh, and so you know it's kind of it's kind of hard to say you know what what exactly uh, the updates should be I mean <laughs> you'd think you'd want some of everything. Uh, for me, I'm an explorer. All I want, all I care about is worlds. I mean, I see stuff like this. I know I said no snakies. I still incorporated some of the snake um, uh, terrain settings because what it does is stuff like this. Uh, so I, I'm keeping my word. Not a lot of snake and lattice terrain, but actually no lattice terrain in any of these worlds. I haven't plugged in those settings, but um, but some snakies because it makes interesting stuff like this. Um, so anyways, uh, but for me, yeah, exploration is, is all, is total, but uh, I know for many of you, that is not the case. So I don't know what we're going to get, you know, I, 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 we're going to get a world's part two update. That is certain, they, or else they wouldn't have uh, called it part one. <laughs> uh, but what else are we getting? You know, are, are they just expeditions? I, I, I don't I just don't feel like that's the finale we're gonna get with no man's sky I don't think it's gonna be a world's part two and two expeditions uh, I'm expecting more maybe my expectations are too high uh, but uh, I, I don't know I feel like hello games is gonna sort of go out with a bang with no man's sky uh, prior to uh, in 2024 that is um, prior to the launch of their new game, Light No Fire, which I am incredibly excited for. But you know, I I don't know, isn't it isn't it strange? Like for me, fantasy and sci-fi games are like everything I love. Uh um, in dark fantasy, you know, like um, Elden Ring. But uh fantasy and yeah, and sci-fi, that's primarily what I love. And so isn't it great that Hello Games is focusing on both? I mean here here we have you know, No Man's Sky pushing eight years, getting better and better every year, and they're about to drop this huge, you know, fantasy game, Light No Fire. I'm just so excited. We're just so spoiled. Hello Games is spoiling us. We're gonna get both. Um, I, I'm, I will definitely, even when Light No Fire comes out, I will definitely be returning to No Man's Sky, and I'm fairly certain. I, I don't think Sean Murray indicated that there won't be. Uh, updates with No Man's Sky. I just don't think they're going to be content updates. I could be wrong. I mean, bug fixes and stuff like that, improvements with, you know, multiplayer and stuff like that. I imagine they'll continue into 2025. But uh, as far as content updates, if correct, like I say, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure uh, tw uh, 2025 concludes such updates. Uh, if I understood, if I understood what Sean Murray was saying. But, um, but the modders will never give up on No Man's Sky, and uh, and I, I I'm pretty sure with these next three updates, we're gonna have enough content to keep us busy for the <laughs> year, coming the years to come. But so these worlds, there's quite a quite a variety. I think there's about five 
like I say, nothing super crazy with terrain. I mean, this is about as crazy as it gets. My focus was just sort of uh, interesting, interesting worlds. Some are more interesting than others, but uh, but with these new graphics, you know, partic particularly with Tessellation, even though I have Tessellation set to 16, and so I don't know why. I mean, I'm I'm running on a RTX 4090. Um, and an i9, I don't know, whatever it is, 13900K or whatever the heck. But, um, and it still takes seconds, like 1001, 1002, 1003, for the tessellation to engage at 16 times. Maybe I should just set it down. But, um, so if you noticed on those rocks, you know, it's, it's taking time for those, uh, for the tessellation to kick in, which I, I don't. But this was, this was crazy right here. I was just walking, I was like, in the in the fog and everything, seeing that massive worm, I was just like, that is so cool. Actually creeped me out, kind of scared me a little bit. But this is, uh, this was, this was an amazing uh, hot planet. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and click off now. I'm going to shut up. I didn't have a whole lot to say. I'm going to click off and let you enjoy the sights and sounds of No Man's Sky. I hope you enjoy the rest of my exploration here some of these planets like this one very beautiful and uh thank you for stopping by we'll see you guys next time
Thank you.